Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. We that are full of praise. We that are full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With our eyes full of praise. With our eyes full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With a heart full of praise. With a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, my King. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Sing Hosanna, 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 Hosanna to the King of Kings. Lord, we lift up your name. With our heart full of praise, with our heart full of praise, be exalted, O Lord, our God. Hosanna in the highest. Let us sing that Hosanna loud and clear with joy and happiness. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With our heart full of praise. With our heart full of praise. Be exalted, O oh Lord, our God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. 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 Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is to come. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is to come. Blessed be the Lord. God Almighty, who reigns 
forevermore. Wooden forevermore. Osana, Osana, Osana. Thank you, Jesus. Osana, Osana to our reigning king. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Osana in the highest. Osana. Osana. Osana in the highest. Osana. 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 Osana in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With a heart full of praise. With a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, my God. O Sana in the highest. O Sana in the highest. O Sana in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name, Lord, we lift Stop your name with a heart full of praise, with a heart full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, our God, O Sana in the highest. Amen. 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 Osana. 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 To the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Osana. Osana. Father, Lord, we thank you. Our Heavenly Father, we praise your name. We thank you because that of our mouth, you ordain praise tonight. We thank you because only the living can shout Osana. Only those who are saved can shout Osana. Only the redeemed of the Lord can shout Osana. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for saving us, for your saving grace upon our life. Thank you, Father, for giving us grace to see this night. Thank you, Lord, for what you have been doing in our lives since we begin this year. 2020. We thank you for January. We thank you for February. We thank you for March. And we give you all the glory. We say, Osana for April. Thank you for giving us life. Thank you for giving us grace to see this day. Thank you for all that you have done in our life, in our midst. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for all that you will continue to do. Thank you for ordaining a time like this, Lord, a time to specially call upon your name, a time to specially give us your attention, a time to specially give us your word. We thank you for what you have been doing in our life through this program, and we thank you for what you have begun to do. Osana to the King of Kings tonight. Osana to the Lord of Lords. Osana to the Lord God Almighty for ordain praise from her mouth tonight. Be thou glorified and be thou magnified. Thank you for giving us this open heaven. We bless your name, O Lord. Thank you for giving us Jesus Christ and for giving us a name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ that is filled with greatness and power. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your presence that is mighty in our midst tonight. We praise your holy name. And as we open this program in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let your blessing be released now in Jesus' name. Let your presence be with us from the beginning to the end and continuously. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, come and manifest your power than never before in the name of Jesus. Father, all that we are going to be doing in this program, as we are going to be praising your name, as we are going to be singing him, reading the word of God, Father, let us be able to do it to glorify your name. Father, let us be blessed through every aspect of faith. And at the end of this program, Father, let our lives be measurably blessed. And let your name alone be praised. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all adoration. Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to lead and to direct us. We give you praise, O Lord. Continue to lay your mighty hand upon us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. There is no doubt about it. Everyone connected. If you have not told your friend that are not, instead of watching Christian movie, this movie, come and let us pray together. There is only one language that heaven understands. is the language of prayer. And as we begin to speak that language to heaven, heaven shall hearken unto our voice in Jesus' name. Nobody will be disappointed for connecting and for joining the line tonight in Jesus' name. Right there where you are, and you have come with full expectation to receive from the Lord because you have received from him before, or this is your first time. And your, your heart is so stirred with joy that the, the power of the Most High God will visit your life, visit your children, visit your situation. Anywhere you find yourself tonight, just shout to Sana, O 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 Sana to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. O Sana. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In the book of Mark, the book of Mark chapter 11, and when we look at verse 9 and 10, during the week we read about how Jesus entered Jerusalem. And today I still want to quickly branch there because of our theme, the resurrection power for a solution. There is a reason why resurrection power manifested. It manifested for a solution to the problem of mankind that, that has devised solution. And that is the power that is going to enter into every situation presented here tonight and as we continue to go in Jesus' name. The book of Mark 11, and I read from verse 9 and 10. And they that went before and they that followed, as Jesus entered Jerusalem triumphantly, he entered Jerusalem for you. He entered Jerusalem for me. He entered Jerusalem for the whole world. He entered Jerusalem, a place where they are going to kill him, a place where he's going to end his life, a place where he's going to carry the cross of the world and die with that cross. He entered there. If it were you and me, they would be dragging us. We would be crying and say, hey, me, only me. They say I should come and carry the body of all these people. Hey, hey. Jesus wasn't crying. Jesus was happy to do it for you. He was happy to do it for me. The word of God says, and he entered. He entered Jerusalem triumphantly. He entered it. He was sitting on a donkey. He was sitting as the king. He was sitting as the savior. He entered Jerusalem. And as he entered Jerusalem, everyone that has heard about what he did for Lazarus, as he raised Lazarus, the one that, uh, that was dead for four days, everybody that has heard the story, the whole city, quickly, let, let, let's quickly look at it. In fact, in fact, five, Jesus sent them, go and lose a cost for me and bring it. And some people were asking, why do you lose this cost? And they told, they said unto them that they said unto them, even as Jesus has commanded them, and they let go. Tonight, whatever that is yours, 
that is mine that have been tied down. As we shout, Hosanna, to bring the, the presence of the Almighty, the resurrection power down, everything that belongs to us shall be set free in the name of Jesus. And they brought the cross to Jesus and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. He sat upon him, and many spread their garments in the way, and others cut them branches of the tree and straw them in the way. And they that went before and they that followed cried, saying, O Sana, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the king of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Amen. People don't shout Osana when they are sad. People don't shout Osana when they are disappointed. People don't shout Osana when they are hopeless. Osana means joy. Osana means adoration. Osana means thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our King. Osana means salvation. Osana means the one who saved us has come. Everybody was so happy that new era has come. Things that is going to change the story of the whole world has come. And I felt the spirit, the spirit of those people in my spirit as I begin to cross-check the scripture, as the Holy Spirit begin to impress my heart. That imagine, imagine those people shouting, Osana, the one those that does not have hope before, those that does not have joy before, those that thought the, the, the bondage of sin and death has gripped them, as all of them know that the one who has the power over death and sickness is coming. The word of God said the whole town, everybody, the multitude, they spread their garment, they were rejoicing, they were shouting. Oh, I pray that the spirit of Hosanna enter your life in the name of Jesus. They were shouting. They were jumping. They were rejoicing. Some people took off their clothes and said, I'm ready to, give, to, to, to be naked for the, for the king of kings. I'm ready. The scripture says, out of the mouth of day, the Lord ordains strength. And if you can't yourself honored tonight, for being among the living and for being able to shout Hosanna this 2020, for being able to shout this Hosanna with the spirit of those who shout Hosanna in heaven and on earth. Lift up your voice and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord, my heavenly Father. You are then praised out of my mouth. You are then Hosanna, Hosanna out of my mouth. You ordain Osana out of my mouth. You make me to be alive. Thank you, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's better to shout Osana than to be in the grave. <laughs> they were shouting. Nobody could stop them. The joy is overwhelming. Lift up your voice anywhere you are tonight. Say, oh God, my Father. Fill my heart with the joy of the Lord. Until you begin to know what the joy of the Lord is. That's when you enjoy God. That's when you enjoy his name. You enjoy his presence. You enjoy his word. You enjoy his program. You enjoy everything about him. Father, fill my life with your joy. Let the joy of the Lord fill my soul, fill my spirit, fill my soul, fill my spirit. As we begin to seek God more and more, and the multitude, they gather themselves. They shout to Sana. The Lord will then praise out of their mouth. The Lord counts them worthy to witness, to witness the king, to see the king of kings, to see the Lord of law, to see the savior of the world. They were all shouting, O Sana. And in the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew 21, book of Matthew 21, when we look at verse 15, and when the chief priest and the scribes, they saw the wonderful thing that he did, and the children crying, children are crying in the temple, saying, Oh, Sana to the son of David, they were so, they were filled with indignant. They were indigenous. They were displeased. Very so displeased. That's why I pray that any power 
that is angry about what God is doing in the life of anyone here, that power shall be silenced by the power of God in Jesus' name. And they said unto him, Hearest thou what this say? And Jesus said unto them, Yeah, have you not read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained praise? From the lips of the children and infants, the Lord ordained praise. That's why we should thank God tonight that this month of April, the Lord comes to us among the living to an ordained praise in our mouth. Anywhere you are tonight, lift up your voice. Say, Father, I thank you. You count me among the living. You count my children among the living. You count every member of my household among the living. You are then praise in my mouth. I am not crying. I'm not lamenting. Oh, you, you, you are not, uh, people are not crying because of me. People are not lamenting because of my children. But here I am yeah, shouting, Osana. Because I have a new life in Christ Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is my king. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Out of our mouth, you ordain praise. We are not gathering here singing songs of sorrow. We are here tonight to, 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 live, to give God sacrifice of praise for the, the work of Jesus Christ for mankind. Father, we just thank you. It was last month that we had a program like this. Many people are all over the world. A lot of things have happened that has claimed the life of people. But we are alive tonight. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your children's life. Thank God for your spouse's life. Thank God for the life of every family in this place. Thank God that our God is, is the Almighty. And His presence in our midst is mighty. We give you praise, O oh Lord, for what God has done for you for what he's doing, give him praise. For what he's doing all over the world, give him praise. Because he's the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He's the lily of the valley. He's the brighter morning star. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the Almighty. He's the unchangeable changer. He's the only one who has the key of David in his hand. He's the only God who opens. Nobody can close. He's God who closed. Nobody can open. He's the one who entered Jerusalem for you. He knows he was going to, going to Jerusalem to go and die. And he was not afraid of death. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give the Lord all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give him all honor. Give God all adoration. Because he has begun to change things. He entered Jerusalem once and for all. And he changed things for good. Say, oh God, my father. Oh God, my father. Oh, God, my Father, enter my life by the power of resurrection. Let there be a great change in my life. Let there be a great change in my children's life. Oh, God, my Father, by the power of resurrection, enter my life today. Enter my life. Enter my children's life. Enter my soul's life. Enter my home. Enter my city. Enter my city. Enter our country. Let great change manifest. Let great change manifest. Let great change manifest in the name of Jesus. There's a reason why the Lord gave us that word, Osana. Osana is for adoration. And as we adore the Lord our Savior tonight, things shall change for good in Jesus' name. Things shall change for good in the name of Jesus. As we continue to enjoy the Lord tonight, we are going to sing. God sent his son. We call him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living. Just because he lives, we shall be blessed in Jesus' name. La, 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 la,
la 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 My Savior lives, because He lives, I can face tomorrow, because He lives, all fear is gone, because I know He holds the future. Because he lives, how sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel a pride and joy he brings. My greatest thing, the calm assurance, this how can Uncertain days because he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he owns the and life is worth the living just because he lives. And then one day I'll cross the river up by life's line. No will be a pain. And then as his way to victory, I'll see the light of glory, and I know he lives, because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because he lives, a fear is gone. Because I know He owns the future And life is worth a living just Because He lives Amen Thank you, Lord Jesus. You see why the people in Jerusalem, during that time, you see why they were shouting, Hosanna. They faced situations that divide Lancer. They never seen such a thing before, that a man that was dead for four days, somebody could raise him up. They were looking for Savior's salvation everywhere. They couldn't. Many prophets before Jesus Christ came, but they could not save the world. They could not bring solution to the hopeless situation. Now when they see Jesus and they see signs and wonder that he was doing, they said, could this be the prophet could this be the Savior that was talked about in the scripture? And they said, what if he is the, the, the Savior? They begin to exalt him. I want you to know, as the Holy Spirit has begun to impress my heart, your life and the, my life and the world might be facing some situation that the violence. But 
fear no more because the Son of God, Jesus Christ, his power that is called resurrection power has brought solution to every situation in men's life that divide answer. That's why all the fear should go. All the hopelessness should be terminated. You two should join the crowd of the sucklings and the, the infants, the little children that is saying, Osana, Osana, to the one who has come in the name of the Lord. The one who has been betraying God to send to us to bring salvation, to bring success, to bring prosperity. Blessed is he who has come in the name of the Lord. Osana to the Lamb of God. Whatever situation that is going on in the world, it might look like the end has come. Jesus Christ made us to know that nobody knows the time that is going to be. So keep that at the back of your mind. Don't let anybody lie to you that it's going to be next year. It's going to be two years. It's going to be three years. Study your Bible very well. Even the angels in heaven does not know when it's going to be. Only the Heavenly Father knows. But one thing we know that the scripture said is going to come like a thief, ah, like a thief cometh at night. It's going to come to all men like that, unexpected. So we should be diligent. We should continue to wash our robe and make sure our robe is white. We should continue to walk in the will and the will of God. And tonight, as we continue in this program, Looking at the circumstances that is happening in our world, it looks as if all the hope is gone. It looks as if there is no, no, no solution. But that is good because whatever that divide human solution is the interest of God. The resurrection power did not come to the world in vain. It comes to the world for a solution which must manifest. Jesus entered Jerusalem to bring solutions to long-awaited, more than 2,000 years before Jesus came to the world. The book of Zechariah, chapter 9, verse 9, they have been, all the prophets have been prophesying about his coming, that don't worry, a Savior is coming, a Savior is coming. Eventually, the Savior came, and he began to manifest himself as the King of kings, as the Lord of lords, as the one who has the key of life and death in his hand, as the one who opens, nobody can close, as the one who can bring death to life. He told Mary and Martha, he said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Anyone that believes in me, even though he dies, he will still live because I am the resurrection and the life. I pray tonight that whatever good thing that is there in your life, in your situation, the resurrection and the life, the one who can bring that thing that is there for a long time to life, will manifest his power in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and say, Father, we thank you for making Jesus Christ to be the resurrection and the life. Thank you, Lord. That son said, God sent his son, and they call him Jesus. He came to love, to heal, and to forgive. He lived and died to buy our pardon. Yes, an empty grave is there to prove that the Savior of the world liveth. Who will not allow the world to, 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 to go astray? Who we always intercede for us? And because he lives, Thank the Lord that, Father, I thank you for making Jesus die to be the resurrection life. Thank you, Lord, that the fear of unknown is gone. The fear of future is gone. The fear of life and death is gone. Our life is worth living until the day the Lord will come and, and, and take us away. Our life is worth living with joy and happiness. Knowing assuredly that resurrection and life is our Savior. Father, we just thank you for making Jesus to be resurrection and life in the name of Jesus. Say, any area in my life that has come short of the glory of resurrection and life, 
Father, have mercy upon us as an individual, as a family, as a body of Christ, as a nation, anywhere we have sinned and we have come short of the glory of God. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us in Jesus' name. The resurrection power for a solution. He did not just came for for fun. He came for a solution to the problem of mankind. And until the until the harvest of the same, the resurrection power will continue to manifest breakthrough, to manifest miracles, to manifest wonders in the name of Jesus. You are going to cry to the Lord this night. Don't look at time. Don't look at any situation. Don't look at news. Look unto the Lord, the author and the finisher of your faith. Look unto him. Anyone who look unto him will live and not die. Don't look at left and right. If you keep, continue to listen to what does not profit you, your heart will be filled with fear. But when you look unto him, unto him who was behind for you, you will not die. You will, you will have eternal life. Lift up your voice tonight. The resurrection power. Resurrection power. You must manifest in my life, in every situation in my life, that has divine answer. I call resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come and manifest in my life. As you manifest, as you enter Jerusalem, you see, we begin to walk our way down the scripture. When Jesus enters, all the wonders that he was doing for mankind, he will do the same for you. He will do the same for me. Jesus is at work until he comes to harvest the same. It's not I do. Jesus is at work. He's at work. The Bible says, and he's sitting at the right hand of God, interceding for the same. Jesus is not just sleeping. Jesus is not snacking. That is the recreation. He's at work for you. He's at work for me. Call upon him by the resurrection power. Let every situation in my life that has devised solution, let it experience resurrection power in the name of Jesus. As I join the saints in Christ to the Lord in this program, let the resurrection power bring solution to my family problem. Many families here, they have chronic problems. They have chronic affliction. They have chronic sickness. They have chronic difficulties that have been there for long. Don't let your heart be troubled and don't let fear affect him. Resurrection power is still alive today. And I repeat it and I said it. Jesus Christ said to her, that heart can be you. In the book of John 11, chapter, verse 25 and 26, Jesus said to her, that heart can be you. It can be him. It can be they. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live. Oh, whatever that is happening with this tribulation, untimely death will not be your portion. It will not be my portion. It will not be our children's portion. He said, though they die, some people might be dying, though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? It's left to you. The ball has been thrown to your court. If you believe in it, hold on to it. He said, that which you have already gotten, hold on to it tightly. Don't let anybody take that truth away from you. And they might be dying, but I know that I will live. Our timely death will not be my portion. Be clear it loud and clear. I hold on to the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. On timely death shall not be my portion. On timely death shall not be my children's portion. I hold on to resurrection power and life. Yes, yes, every impossible situation, the solution must appear by the resurrection power. Solution must appear. In the name of Jesus. Yes. People just don't come out to celebrate lies. They came out to celebrate Jesus Christ. The one who wake Lazarus up. The one who make you and me to be alive today. The one who preserve our lives. The one who continue to fight our battles. Said, do you believe this? It is hard to believe, but it is good for you if you can believe. Say, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever believes by believing in me will never die. That's why that even if they are putting you in the grave, say, I believe, I will never die. Let them think you are stupid, but hold on to it. 
He said, do you believe this? Ah, Martha said, I think eh, in resurrection, he knows scripture more than Jesus then. But Jesus said, not even in resurrection, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about now that your brother will live again. Do you believe this? Do you believe that? That this world will be restored again. Whatever anyone is saying, hold on to the word of Jesus. The word of Jesus is the only proven word that has never failed. I have heard many prophets prophesying, and it never come to pass. I have seen that the word of men failing, but the word of Jesus Christ has never failed. Hold on to it. The one who believes in me will live. If you believe in him, you will live. Your marriage will live. Your children will live. Your business will live. Even though they die. Even though they die. Things might look like as if things, everything is going towards the direction of dying. And whoever lives by believing in me, he never die. You better believe Jesus and hold on to Jesus that every situation in my family that has divine solution, resurrection power, I enter my family, enter my family, enter, bring solution to every problem that has divine answer. In the name of Jesus, when Adam and Eve were sent out of the Garden of Eden, Every possible means to bring them before God prove abortive. But the resurrection power, <laughs> when Jesus Christ, the resurrection, came and sacrificed his life, solution to men problem appear. That resurrection power is not a dead power. It's a living power. The resurrection power that makes Jesus Christ to die and live. Resurrection power that makes Jesus' grave to be empty. Jesus' grave is empty. The cross is empty. Oh, resurrection power. You must visit my foundation. The scripture says the foundation is destroyed. What can the righteous do? Foundation of many has been destroyed. Foundation of many is too, is too rotten, is too wounded. Only, only supernatural power. And that's why we call upon resurrection power. Send that power to your father's house. Send it to your mother's house. Send it among your siblings. Send it into where you marry. That's resurrection power. This problem in my family, that has divine answer. Oh, resurrection power. Enter my foundation. Enter the foundation of my problem. Enter the foundation of my family problem. Bring solution. Let solution manifest. Let divine solution manifest. In my family, let divine solution manifest. In the name of Jesus. Yes, proskele oshendaya. The resurrection power do miracle in my life. Today, today, do miracle in my life. Oh, resurrection power, do miracle in my life. Today, today, do miracle in my life. Resurrection power, do miracle in my case. Today, today, do miracle in my case. Resurrection power, do miracle in my case. Today, today, do miracle in my case. Early this year, there is a law for a real ID driver license. We have some brethren that doesn't have what it takes to get the real ID. And they said the, the, the ultimatum date. And it looks as if it's the final. And I said, it's not the final. Let us bring it to the Lord. Let's bring this situation to the Lord. And we begin to pray day and night. We begin to pray day and night that you are God. The Bible says, woe to those who, who decree unrighteous decree. Father, Lord, even though they have said the optimism for everyone to change to the real ID, and these, your children, they don't have what it takes to change to real ID. But we bring the case to you, Daddy. And we leave it there. And we begin to water it. And lo and behold, as the situation happened now, they said we have postponed it to some un unprecedented date. Are you there? 
I'm talking to you because I know the power that is working on this mountain, the power of resurrection and life. The power that keep me standing here, the power that keep my voice standing daily, the power that keep you standing where you are, the power that connect us together. Resurrection power. He has never failed. He will not fail in your situation. That's why I encourage you. As my spirit has been charged, I'm being encouraged. And as I'm talking to you, nobody gets chance for EID. All everybody is crying for now is Lord restore our land. I am praying for you that whatever that will happen, that we bring solution to your situation. Resurrection power shall make it happen. It 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 shall make it happen in the name of Jesus. Yes. Believers don't know what they have. Believers don't know the power we carry. The power, whatever they call it, the power to cure it is in, in believers' hands. But we put it because we don't, many, many believers don't have assurance in that power. Jesus said, take me to where they are buried in. This is time for believers to reign. If we know who we are. This is time to, 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 for all the Christians to say, take us to where the people that have a, yeah, infirmities. Let us go and lay hands on them and heal them. Jesus said, go into the world. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. But because we refuse to make him pass, in part, they are closing us there. Saying, so close, just, just close, just shut the door. I pray that the resurrection power shall be restored to believers. It shall be restored back shall be restored back to our life. It shall be restored back to our church. It shall be restored back to our midst. Resurrection power shall be restored back to us in Jesus' name. You don't know the power we carry. We too, we are saying, ah, ah, this. Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and I am, the, I am life. The one who believes in me will not die. Even when you, when you walk with somebody that has the virus, even when you are there with the person who has the fire, fire when it touch your body, it must dry up because you have resurrection blood in your blood. Say so resurrection power in the blood of Jesus transfuse my blood, transfuse my blood afresh. Resurrection power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Resurrection life meaning something that is able to waken, waken things that is dead alive and and, and quicken it. Oh, resurrection power, transfuse my blood afresh. Transfuse my blood afresh. Transfuse my blood afresh in the name of Jesus. Resurrection power for his solution. He must manifest in your bones. He must manifest in your world. He must manifest in your children's life. That is when people will believe. Jesus said without signs and wonder, nobody will believe. Unless we activate this resurrection power now. I'm afraid. Things might go contrary. Unless believers rise up now with the understanding of resurrection power that they carry. And you, you walk where there is a, 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 a sick patient. You say, let me come. Let me come and, and, in, and lay hand of resurrection on this person. And let the sickness dry up. And it becomes so. I pray. I pray that the resurrection power will charge every life afresh here in Jesus' name. This is our time. This is our season to reign. This is our time to manifest the resurrection power anywhere we go. The whole world they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. When are you going to manifest? When are we going to manifest? I pray that the resurrection power we rest upon every life here afresh in Jesus' name as we first bring our family unto the Lord. That any situation in the family of anyone here that has divine answer, resurrection power shall run swiftly and enter into our family. This week being the resurrection week, and we are in fasting and prayer already, and we now come into fasting and prayer breakthrough around the clock, meaning double blessing. 
I am praying like never before that resurrection power that has been lying low in your blood, in my blood, that resurrection power shall be stirred up in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone is sick, anyone, anyone in tribulation, resurrection power will touch your blood. It will touch your body. All the pain shall melt away. All the plague shall dry up. All the impossibility shall be made possible in the name of Jesus. I pray both young and old that believe they have given their life to Jesus Christ, but they are not manifesting this power to the world to see. Believe me, this is the time for believers to manifest resurrection power that we have received. This is the time. The world, they are waiting for manifestation. I pray that the spirit of resurrection life will enter into the life of everyone, all the believers are fresh in Jesus' name. The spirit of resurrection life will make every possibility to be possible, bring solution to every situation that has divine answers in the name of Jesus. And as we begin to continue in this breakthrough prayer and fasting, the kind of breakthrough, the kind of healing, the kind of deliverance, the kind of revelation that does not easily come out except by fasting and prayer shall be released for us in Jesus' name. That power that is quenching the resurrection power, that power that is, that is underrating the resurrection power in our life, that power shall be put to shame in Jesus' name. Resurrection power shall enter the bone, the flesh of everyone here fresh, and begin to manifest in our world, in our voice, in our eyes, in our hands, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the e that cometh in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We have brought our heart to you in this program that you will breathe upon it, that the power of resurrection life will rest inside our heart, that when we use it to anoint ourselves, our house, anoint anyone that is sick that we know, that that sickness, whatever it is called, that has a name, shall dry up at the mention of the name of Jesus. Let the power and the honor that is in the name of Jesus Christ fill all our hearts in the name of Jesus. Let the power, the power of resurrection life, let it overshadow every life here. Those who could not dream before, because this power of resurrection life has entered afresh. Let the dream life be quickened and be awakened in Jesus' name. Those who have been, been a, a victim in, in the dream before, a victim of fear, let all the fear dry up in Jesus' name. Let every gang go against anyone here, every indignation of evil elders, let it be totally scattered to desolation by resurrection power. Because of resurrection power, Untimely death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. All the plague is cancelled. Sickness is cancelled in Jesus' name. Resurrection power, as we continue in this program, plead our case, plead for us, intercede for us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we just thank you. We give you praise. All our prayer requests that we have been presenting, Father, we thank you for resurrection power that has been released upon it to turn it to miracle to turn it to testimony. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' awesome name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, by the grace of God, we are going towards the end of the very first section. This always comes in seven sections. It's a prayer around the clock that we come Every hour, every around the clock, we come again at 5.30 a.m., at 12 p.m., at 3 p.m. 6 p.m. is our personal intercessory, and we come back at 9 p.m. for the grand finale. It comes with white fasting and prayer. Yeah, you only eat food, and uh, you're waking your soul 
is a, is a spiritual cleansing to cleanse your system so that your soul, spirit, and body can be sensitive to what the Spirit is saying. And I pray that as we wait patiently in the presence of God, the Lord Almighty will renew the sense of everyone here. The Lord Almighty will give every soul air and wind to soar up as eagles in Jesus' name. All the fear and weakness shall disappear in Jesus' name. And if anyone is here, and you have not at any point in time give your life to Jesus Christ, if you don't even believe in him or you believe you just find it difficult to commit yourself to him, it means you won't have any portion in what we are doing. Because nobody can come, come to God except through Jesus Christ. And anywhere you find yourself, there is only one way that leads to heaven. That way is Jesus Christ. You want to open your heart to Jesus so that you can have a portion in all that we are doing here. And if you are falling, you have given your life to Jesus Christ before, but you are falling into sin. This is opportunity to rededicate our life to Christ. If you said by tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning can, might be too late. Only God knows what can be tomorrow. He said, don't let mortal men boast of tomorrow. For the scripture says it has been laid down for all men to die once. After that is judgment. Anywhere you find yourself tonight, Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you to come so that he can save you, heal you, and forgive you of your sins. Say, Lord Jesus, if your heart is open to receive him, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come and forgive me of all my sins. Come and reveal yourself to me. Come and cleanse me and set me free. Forgive me of all the way I've sinned. Today I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe that you died for me. And you came to this world to save me. Come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Save me and forgive me. Save me and forgive me. Save me and forgive me. Lord Jesus said, if anybody opened their heart, he and his father, they will come in. Lord Jesus, fulfill that which you have promised to as many as are giving their life to you tonight in Jesus' name. Jesus, you are the only one who can forgive sin and heal a, 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 sin, a sinful life. Lord Jesus, accept your children that are opening their heart unto you. Come into their life. Save them and give them eternal life. And keep them standing by sending your Holy Spirit. Make your word yourself real to them. And continue, O oh Lord, to reveal your power in their life. Heavenly Father, we thank you that salvation meets this one on heart, not in the grave. Because nobody can repent in the grave. Lord, I pray that the fruit of repentance they have brought to you, you will accept it. You will forgive and you will save. And as many that will dedicate their life, that I don't want to keep on falling and standing and falling. Father, keep everyone that will dedicate their life to keep them standing. And every one of us, Lord, keep us standing to the hand in the name of Jesus. Write the name of all these new ones in the book of life. And our name that you have written in the book of life, do not blot it out in your book, O oh Lord. Continue to keep us standing. Let the resurrection power perfect all that needs to be perfected in us, in our midst and in our world, Lord. Many that are still sitting in darkness, as we continue in this program, send your angel to fish them and to bring them. Let this word of resurrection and life, let it reach the four corner of the heart. Let it set the captive free in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we believe in you. To you, O Lord, be all the glory, all the honor, 
and all adoration. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Anywhere you are, thank the Lord. Thank Jesus. Because if Jesus Christ appears now, your sins are forgiven. You have assurance of heaven. And any time it is, say thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me of all my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for washing all my sins away. Thank you for redeeming me with your blood. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me of all my sins. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Thank you for giving me eternal life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I am saved. Thank you, Jesus. I have the gift of eternal life. We give you praise, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You have many people around you that want to hear good news like that. Tell them. Bring them in. And as we continue to trust God and to wait patiently by the power of his word, we shall begin to shout to sanity because the power of resurrection will begin to turn every difficult situation around to the glory of his holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. And the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace even in the midst of, of this tribulation in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence that is with us, for listening to us. And as we lay down for a while to wake up, let your Holy Spirit wake us up. When we lay down, let us have a sound sleep and sweet dream. Let divine revelation, divine dream be our portion in Jesus' name. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. 753. Hallelujah. 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 Hosanna. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you and be with you. If you receive the flyer sent to your friend, you don't know the situation of anyone. Don't let the blood of anyone be on your neck. And as you be your brother's keeper, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.